The problem is that Uber will not listen to us on Uber Teen. It's a disaster for both sides, for the rider and for the driver, because it can go horribly wrong on either ends. So I urge the public, if you have children under the age of 18, make sure that they are on a legitimate service like hop, skip and drive, or you make arrangements with your own driver to drive your kids to school. But to put them into this environment is just absolutely wrong. And this goes both ways. Disturbing details revealed in alleged assault on 12 year old rider by Uber driver in North Texas. What is your 12 year old doing in an Uber vehicle, right? That's the first question that I have for the parents. The 12 year old victim used Uber Health, a service that assists patients with medical appointments, grocery deliveries, and prescription refills. What is your 12 year old doing in a car? What are you as an Uber driver? Why are you even picking up a 13 year old? Why are you even joining Uber team? It's a disaster waiting to happen. Well documented in this channel. I've spoken about it many times and bam, in one day, two things go horribly wrong. Following the arrest of a rideshare driver. The man is charged with sexually assaulting a 12 year old girl while driving her to her home in Plano. NBC5's Maria Guerrero also explains why this child was in the car alone. Uber confirming Robert Gregory Johnson was working two weeks ago when Plano police say he sexually assaulted a 12-year-old during an Uber health trip, which offers non-emergency medical transport and prescription delivery services. Unfortunately, no matter how many things are done right. Okay, Uber Health also spoken about this. Why on earth are you trying to be the ambulance service for Uber, right? What? Do you have any idea if you're picking up a person who's just come out of an operation and things go wrong in your car? Do you have any idea how, how in how much shit you will get yourself legally, right? Oh, you handle it the wrong way. They will make you a defendant. Stay away, ladies and gentlemen, please stay away from Uber Teen and stay away from Uber Health, right? For Uber Health, Dara Koshashawi, there are ambulances out there, right? There are services that the hospitals don't try and act like the tough guy and get involved in every single sphere of transportation. Stay away from Uber Health. Stay away from Uber Team. Uh, these predators are still going to infiltrate the system. According to the arrest affidavit, the victim uses Uber specifically a service for unaccompanied kids that is meant to have more highly vetted drivers to get to therapy. Johnson police say picked her up in Frisco. The trip home reportedly took longer than usual. The next day, she told her therapist, saying what started with Johnson asking about music quickly turned into him asking, what's your favorite position? And she asked if he meant in sports. Johnson is accused of molesting the child, demanding she get Put him out of his seat, misery. Pulling over in this Plano parking lot on Legacy, where Johnson threatened her by saying, the last thing you have to do is you have to do it if you want to go home, forcing her on him. A spokesperson for Uber telling NBC5 this monstrous behavior has no place in our society or on the Uber. This monstrous behavior is facilitated by you, Dara Koshashawi, and by you, David Risha, but you don't do anything about it. They have so many ways that they can implement stops and put an end to this bullshit. No, but they go ahead. They push ahead on Uber Health. They push and push and advertise Uber Teen. You are responsible for this. Platform. We take reports of this nature very seriously and have permanently banned the- Obviously you don't take it very seriously because the service is still out there. You got to completely get rid of Uber Health and Uber Teen, right? Stop writing these messages when it's too late. This means nothing, ladies and gentlemen, and public, dear public, there are ambulance services out there. There are private drivers and, and, and companies that specialize in teenager transportation where the drivers are vetted. If you want to play Russian roulette and send your 12 year old out there, expect things to happen, right? Because Dara Koshashawi doesn't have anything in place. Yeah, for his own kids, yeah, they have their own private drivers. Do you think that 
Dara Kosher Charlene and his wife Sydney would send out their children with a random dude on Uber Health? Hell no. Hell no. Driver. We have been in touch with Plano Police. The company also confirming it was not a trip requested through a teen account, another service that's offered. Plano Police encouraging parents to seek extra security measures for any trip. There's also applications where the child could be live streaming to a parent. A lot of people are asking, why was this child alone? Exactly. Um, you guys have a response to what you would consider parent shaming in this case. What was that? Um, I don't believe parent shaming is helpful in this case. I think it's something that we uh, should all learn from, um, should all look out for each other, um, come up with solutions on how to make this a, a safer system. If anyone has... Ha we have given them countless countless suggestions on how to make this a safe a system and she says she doesn't believe in parent shaming um i also don't believe in parent shaming but i believe in educating the parents the public why the f-u-c-k is your 12 year old in an uber or lyft with a driver and the other way around why are you as a driver transport transporting a 12 or 13 year old in your car answer me that the unwanted inappropriate contact with johnson plano police detectives want to hear from you just contact the department contact the department now it carries on south carolina family sues uber after family says daughters were trafficked and drugged and exploited two minors under the age of 14 what are your minors doing in the car? Uh, two separate Uber rides to a man's house where they were abused and filmed. Parents, get a grip on this, man. Why are your children in the car? Trafficking. It's an epidemic that experts say continues to grow nationally and here in South Carolina. It's the center of a lawsuit filed today by a South Carolina family against Uber. Our Nate Stanley spoke with the family's lawyers and joins us live with the details. Nate. Nigel, in that lawsuit, the family says the two girls, both under the age of 14, were sent in Uber to and from a house where they were abused. At no point did the drivers end the rides or refuse to take them anywhere because of their age. Now their families want rideshare apps to take more responsibility. The girls were given drugs and the 12 year old was raped, struck repeatedly, spit on. A nightmare case of child sex trafficking out of York County, South Carolina, according to family attorney, Tracy Cohen. She says that all started after an abuser by the name of Favion Gerard Williams paid for an Uber that picked the girls up and brought them across state lines to his house in North Carolina. Part of the reason that we're seeing such a surge in these types of uh, crimes is that it's easier than ever for traffickers to um, transport and to, to essentially get their uh, trafficking victims from one place to another. Williams was later arrested and pled guilty. Chris Bala with the awareness team at Switch, a sex trafficking advocacy group, says the issue is growing even here in the upstate. In South Carolina, as in all states, it is growing by leaps and bounds. Um, unfortunately, the, the victims are getting younger and younger. The typical age of... They're getting younger and younger. Dave, Dara Koshashawi, David Risha, you have children, right? Why on earth? Right, you have the money to, to, to offer your kids private transportation. Why are you facilitating this? Why are you facilitating this nonsense? Right, you got to hold Dara Koshashawi and David Risha responsible. They are to blame for the systems that they have put into place that fail passengers and that fail drivers. Sexual assaults are running rampant. Trafficking is running rampant. Abuse on the system is running rampant. And yet, Dara Koshashawi, oh, I don't see anything. I don't hear anything. I don't want to talk about it. Same with Risha. Entering sex trafficking is between the ages of 12 years old Disgusting. to 16. It used to be more like 14 to 16. She says many victims are lured into trafficking via social media and has this advice for families. Check up, see who they're talking to. Make sure that they have access to their social media accounts. Because that's ex that is where we are seeing the greatest threat. 
and we reached out to the Universal Communications team about this case and ways to avoid trafficking, and we have not received a response. We have not received a response. And again, we have not received a response. We have not received a response. Reporting Greenville, Nate Stanley. Thank you for reporting. It's good. It's very important that these stories come out. It's very important that we shine the light on these Uber and Lyft executive cockroaches that facilitate this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, put your comments and share, share, share. Get this out there. Let's educate the public, right? Uber teen, no. Uber health, no. Don't put your 12, 13, 14 year old in a car. Drivers, say no. Be able to say no. If you're that desperate and then you have to take a 13 year old and abuse a 13 year old, then you trash, just like the executives.